Good morning. I want to welcome you again to this Christian ministry, and it makes me feel good that you have a desire to draw close to God in your life today, and you'll use this venue to reach out to God. Even those in prayer, we've got had several prayer requests come in, and we want to have our prayer time today. I'd like to pray for Phyllis Gowans. I'd like to pray for Phyllis and she has prayer for her family. So let's lift up Phyllis and her family this morning. I'd also like to pray for William Crisp. And he's been paralyzed and, and he has much pain with this paralysis. And let's pray for William and his life and for God to ease the pain off during this situation. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I want to pray for Cheryl Cagle this morning, and Cheryl has prayer for her family and many different things, and she's been upset, and let's lift Cheryl up to God this morning and ask, ask him to help her with these situations. I'd also like to pray for Joan Eggers today, and Joan has an unspoken prayer request. Let's lift up Joan and her request to God this morning. And I'd also like to pray for Melissa Boyd today. And let's pray for Melissa during this prayer. And help me, help me reach out to God and lift up these needs to God in prayer. Along with the ones watching this video today, and also the ones that we've reached out to and contacted. Dear God, the Father, we come before you with thankfulness in our hearts that we can be with you again and pray with you because of the salvation that you've given us in our lives. God, we've reached out to many people and asked for prayer requests. And we've had some come in, God, and we, we lift those up to you that we've made mention of here this morning. God, I ask, Lord, that you would benefit these people, that you would bless them in your own will and way, in a special situation of where you touch their lives. God, thank you for loving us. Thank you for being able to reach down and make a difference in our lives through us seeking you out in prayer. God, we pray all of these things in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being with us and praying with us in that prayer. <clears throat> We're going to read some scripture today from the book of John, chapter 4, verses 43 through 54. This is about a story of a noble, a noble man <clears throat> whose son was close to death with the fever, and Jesus healed him. Let's see what God would have us to hear this morning from this scripture. Now, after two days, he departed thence and went into Galilee. For Jesus himself testified that a prophet hath no honor in his own country. Then when he was come into Galilee, the Galileans receiving him, having seen all the things that he did at Jerusalem at the feast, for they also went unto the feast. So Jesus came again into Cana of Galilee, where he made water wine. And there was a certain nobleman whose son was sick at Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus was come out of Judea into Galilee, he went unto him and besought him that he would come down and heal his son for he was at the point of death. Then said Jesus unto him, Except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. The nobleman saith unto him, Sir, come down ere my child die. Jesus saith unto him, Go thy way, thy son liveth. And the man believed the word that Jesus had spoken unto him, and he went his way. And as he was now going down, his servants met him and told him, saying, Thy son liveth. Then inquired he of them the hour which he had begun to amend. And they said unto him, Yesterday at the seventh hour the fever left him. 
So the father knew that it was at the same hour in the, in the which Jesus saith unto him, Thy son liveth, and himself believed, and the whole house. This again, the second miracle that Jesus did when he was come out of Judea into Galilee. The story here takes off after two days of being with the people in Samaria, he leaves them. And on his trip, he goes and goes into Galilee. <clears throat> now they had heard about him. They had heard about the things that he had done into Jerusalem at the feast because they were at the feast also. And as he come back into Galilee, <clears throat> there was many that besought him uh, 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 a one that had a son that was close to death. He had a fever and he was about to die. And when he asked Jesus <clears throat> to help him, the noble man said, Sir, come down or my child die. He asked Jesus to help him or to help his son or his child was going to die. And listen to what Jesus said again. Except you see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. I want you to focus on that a little bit. And that Jesus is saying that it's, except people have some type of a condition, that something good happens to them, they will not believe. And remember that. And then Jesus says to the man, Go thy way, thy son liveth. And this, man's father, and this man left Jesus, believing that the son, his son did live and that Jesus had done something for his son. I think about a lot of times where a lot of people come to church and they go for a while and they're looking for something in their life. And they're professing and believing, saying that they believe in Jesus. But then after a while, you don't see them anymore. And after a while, they've gotten out of the way of living for God. Listen, a life with Jesus, a relationship with Jesus, is a pure and unadulterated relationship with God Almighty through His Son, Jesus Christ, and believing in what He did on the cross. It's not our conditions uh, that we'll receive and then we'll decide upon whether we'll believe or not. Our life of belief and faith is come is about uh, believing in Jesus no matter what comes our way, whether it be good or bad, or whether it comes soon or later. We all have needs. We all pray to God. God Almighty, the Creator, the one that has control over everything, the control over power and the wind and creation and all things that ever were and all things that ever will be. We realize that, but we don't, we don't love Him. We don't believe in His Son Jesus on a conditional basis. <clears throat> we believe because we believe. We believe because we believe that he loves us so much that he sent his only begotten son, Jesus, to die on the cross so that our sins and mistakes in life can be forgiven. That's the reason that we have a relationship with God, not some set of conditions of signs and miracles. And if we see these, then we'll believe. And Jesus is pointing that out in this scripture here this morning, he's pointing it out to me. He's pointing it out to you. That our, our relationship uh, with God is not conditional of, on him doing something for us. <clears throat> Praise God for all that he's made possible for us. Praise God for the hope that we have. We would have eternal death if it wasn't for God. Praise God for the many blessings and benefits that we have here now in our abundant life walking here on earth. And praise God for the future and the inheritance 
that we'll have one day when we see Jesus coming in the clouds. We'll see Jesus, our Lord and our Savior, and we'll see our eternal life uh, continuing on into an eternal state, into the presence of God in our life. Thank God for all that he has done for us. Not because he does something for us, but because of who he is and for the forgiveness that, that he has made possible upon us, us that are sinners and come short of God's standards of getting into heaven. God made a way possible for us to have life, eternal life, not based upon what he, uh, we have done, but based upon what Jesus did on the cross. He went all the way to the cross for us. <clears throat> I like to praise God for this man that believed that his son was healed and went his own way without actually seeing and knowing that his son had been healed because he didn't find out until the next day. And I'd like to encourage you in your relationship with God to have a strong faith to have a strong belief that God is going to take care of you. Your God, the Father, is going to take care of his children. Praise God for this message today. Share it out into the world and believe in God, not conditionally, but wholehearted in faith that he will be who he says he is and he will do the things that he does, everything that he's ever said has come true or everything that he has ever said is going to come to. Praise God for another beautiful day that he has given us today. Have a great day and God bless you.